So, hello and welcome back to another playthrough of uh, Your Persona 4 with the Ambana Fantasy mod. We have our straw poll over here of what we should play, uh, what I should play next, you're not playing anything. And it seems like clearly Skirt Drake has won, so we're gonna jump into the X and then into the next Orc Nation right away. So, but before we jump into... Uh, the game, we of course are gonna once again go over, or as always go over, the, uh, the next playthrough. As always there will be a straw poll in the description and we're gonna pick five nations uh, where you can vote on. Uh, two of those are gonna be back in there. <coughs> Fangoya and Xvex we're gonna keep in the uh, rotation. Fangoya being basically uh, <laughs> bootleg Asgarde, uh, a Sunrise Empire. But no, they're more like accepting cultures and building up uh, the township. Where an Xvex is all about the silk colors, right? Yeah, the silk colors. And you connecting with Abalan and all of those things and doing halfling stuff. Uh, we're gonna add three other nations this time. Usually I only add two more nations. But uh, now with the knowledge that Doria Qatar is gonna barely have anything else after they finish their stuff, which is gonna be done, we're gonna delay playing in Lavanka, I feel like. So, the three nation, three nations are gonna be Myanmar. As Maimo has gotten a uh, rework, and I'm actually looking forward to playing them, because I I, I mean, if they're not just a, a, a Shrek uh, a, a, a meme this time, things would be quite cool, but yeah, the, the, I want to play as Ogres again, and these guys basically play the same every time. Uh, we're gonna add M Chaos. M Chaos over here, being basically... Uh, Slave traders with mercenaries, is what I read. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna look... Uh, th that is one of the options. And then we're also gonna add Beggarstone, the Shining Circle Adventure and Company, who are basically fighting against, well, the Empire, or like the... Uh, or, let's say it like that, they fight against feudalism. <laughs> so yeah, these five nations we have. Uh, Fangoya, Xvex, Myanmar, M Chaos, and uh, uh, Beggarstone. <coughs> the straw poll is in the description where you can vote on, but now let's jump into the Skirt Drake. And I have to say, Skirt Drake is actually the one nation that I would have wanted to play first, as I said with when I started Zap Chopper. But I think it, I think it's going to be a fun tradition to start in Silvar every time uh, there's a new update. So there's not much to read here, which is quite kind of nice. There is the uh, uh, this narrative. That I think we it's not really a narrative, it's just this, uh, basically explaining how things work. <coughs> but we don't care much about that. We, we basically care about nothing around here because we are orcs. Builders of the Dvorovar. For centuries the old, uh, the hold of Gorvas and Brock guarded the western flank of the Sekmandal Alliance. They had stood as an ever-watchful sentinel, the titanium dwarfs and their golems seeing off any danger to encroach on their domain. However, with their eyes fixed on the caverns and tunnels to the west, they were blind to the danger slumbering beneath their very feet. During the Dragon Wake, a massive purple dragon burst through the lower levels of the hold, breaking open the ancient vaults that had long been charge of the titanium dwarfs, and filling the low levels, lower levels of the hold with its poisonous breath. Unable to stop the titanic creature, the hold was abandoned, the lingering toxic gases of the dragon's breath and the magic leaking from the broken vaults, interacting to create the toxic hellscape only known as the Wound. But this was not the only thing left in the Dragon's Wake. Nobody knows the true origin of the large wingless lizard known as Dracons. Maybe they are uh, children of the Hunter, or some sort of arcane evolution. Who the fuck is the Hunter? Whatever. Causing the mutation of the vermin living within the lower level of the, the hold by the dragon's toxic breath, and the dangerous magic of the artifacts locked away in the vaults of Gorvas and Brock. All that is known is that the largest and meanest of their kind can be found in Gorvas and Brock. After our ancestors settled in the ruins, we learned to live with and eventually tame those creatures, our constant companions and namesake of the tribe. These powerful quadrupedal reptiles serve as mounts for the greatest of our warriors, their rending claws and snapping jaws making short work of any foolish enough to stand against us. So, we get mythical cavalry regiments, which get a, a healthy amount of cavalry shock, and of course the reinforced speed and cost it goes up. Alright, let's take a quick look. We have Chieftain Gashak Godov in charge, who is cruel. 435, uh, 4345, pretty decent. We are orcs. I mean, we know orcs already now. 
we are shock focused and manpower focused and i guess now with the mix of having better cavalry we are gonna punch quite well uh possible mythical cavalry four all right we are a dwarf squatter nothing special about that <coughs> so we won't have like we have an increased manpower gain so we are i think we're gonna go full on uh, let's punch our uh, way through we actually get a decent amount of money what do we start with here? Oh, we are behind on tech, but we do have feudalism, right? Yeah, we do have feudalism. <coughs> we start off with cavalry cost reduction and envoy travel time. Okay, that is neat. There's a bunch of other stuff here, or even more cavalry shock, cool. Uh, we're gonna take a look at that. Uh, we're gonna turn this one off. Set up plunder camp. Well, we I think we already have a plunder camp. I think these guys m m probably want to demonsterize this time. We have the old Dorkon in charge. We're probably gonna do very often just peace. Uh, 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 uh Dokkan's guidance peace. Annoyed slave herds. Okay, but mainly we're gonna probably use Dokkan's guidance and annoyed slave herd. All right, before we do anything, what do the what what does the game want us to do? Out of the wounds, have at least five cities. Has an old Dokkan omen. Okay, so we do need to have an omen. Good stuff. When we need to get crownland in our hands. And we need to improve the roads. Oh, that's rather unique. Uh, I am willing to immediately snap towards these guys. But let's start off with... We cannot do that. Let's start off with this. We are gonna go for improved gain here. We own this... Uh, this. Okay, we own this. I would push one up. Unless... Wait. Form of recovery regiment. Okay. So these guys actually want us to go down first, so we'll do that instead. We do need that mythical cavalry. I assume that, yeah, we have that here. Uh, we don't... Uh, you're for free. Oh, do you cost me mill points? I see. Okay, but then we are just gonna uh, remove... That piece of cavalry, right? That's how it works. Okay, yeah. This just costs me uh, mill points. Uh, you know what, yeah. Let's remove that. I don't want any boring ass normal cavalry. What is the scale? This scales with... Uh, I'm, it doesn't scale with percentage, right? This is a direct value. Okay, it, it scales with state. Hold on a second. Is it state's development? Doesn't tell me anything here, right? No. So this, uh, we have the orcish stuff going on. Uh, the, the, because the orcs don't dig. They dig, don't dig at all. They set up plunder camps. <coughs> the cities, not the capital province, da 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 And then we're gonna start p piling up plunder piles, basically. Let's remove this. Screw it. You guys are gonna need a little bit of love here. I assume that we're not gonna have, like, we're not gonna have much cavalry, probably. I doubt that. Okay, but we do need uh, uh, a bit of stuff here as well. Uh, autonomy. Share the spoils. Yeah, sure. I mean, that is easy to remove again. Oh, promise, promise new lands. Of course. You guys don't have anything for this here? Mesh exploration. That is that is also new, right? I I complete I'm completely unfamiliar with that existing. It reduces native uprising chance. Sure. Let's put it in. So. Uh, you guys are still doing that. We are doing that. We don't have advisors in because we are gonna immediately send someone here. Uh, we do need a leader technically, so let's do that. I'm uh, definitely not gonna do that. Could do a conquistador, but I'm. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do a Conquistador. Look at that maneuver guy. Oh, right, we also probably should uh, <laughs> speed up the game. And now we need to wait a second. I hope that there will not be much uprising happening while I'm not there. You get 40. 20 from the up, uh, repression and plus 10 from Promised Land. Give me my, give me my, give me my stuff. 
Oh, hey. Road Warrior. You're my rival. That is actually very good. Currently, you completely outscaled me. Let's see how much that changes. Uh, we're probably gonna... Yeah. I don't think we're fast enough for this. Can I get here before you guys succeed? Oh, that's a cool color. I like it. I doubt that you guys... Uh, we do lose money, which is unpleasant. How much do you guys... You have 11k. You don't have mythical cavalry, though. So if I get my numbers together... Okay, we are just losing money because of reinforcement ticks. Obviously. Hanging alone, that's alright. Okay, we have our army together. Let's get you guys over here. I would immediately start a fight. Screw it. Declare war, let them come to me. That makes sense, right? Just uh, uh, humiliate rival. I don't want to conquer these, I want them to uh, show them that I'm better than them. Nice. <coughs> uh, I will wait until they go to my capital, which I assume is gonna happen. Well, that was a quick... Uh... So what do you have here? You have someone with 5 shock. Fuck you. Can I... I don't... I doubt I can do that. I, I want to keep you around for a while. You're good. You're really good. So we are, of course, gonna lose a little bit of value. Oh, and they are not gonna move. Okay, then we need to attack that. Actually, we could do this. But I think that's really risky. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so we will move back. We will wait for the reinforcement takes. I assume that this is not gonna completely crush me. So. Okay. You have the penalty. I did not reinforce correctly. We won that barely. I mean, I need to do this, right? So. They don't reinforce. They might even get wiped. Oh no, they immediately get... Okay, then we just chase them. They got a reinforcement tick, sadly enough. But we should be alright. I'm uh, actually worried about that. I mean, we are winning this. Okay, they have 5k left, and then they come back, so... <laughs> I mean, it's alright. It's complete. like, this is, uh, uh... What else are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna lose this. I don't want war exhaustion right away. Die? God damn it. How much more do I need to kill of you? <coughs> For you to understand that. Don't tell me they got the reinforcement thingy again. Okay, they still... <laughs> okay. I know who's gonna go come running back. Let's just get the money back real quick. <coughs> I'm gonna do a humiliate, so I get... Uh, I get this as soon as possible, because that's just good. Could do an omen. We do need an omen for this, don't we not? Do we not? We do need a little bit more city. I Means a question. We could also just. Oh no, we did the humiliate. Yeah, okay. I'm. I'm gonna, just gonna take that province then. Uh, we're gonna eat a lot of war exhaustion, I assume. Yeah. But I think at this point, these guys don't have anything left. They. They might be coming back anyway. <laughs> Point seven. We currently have these guys also are nearby. We get this back. All right. I'm just gonna eat it like that. We ended Valra after all. Let's have fun. Tch. I'm gonna go for an omen. To be honest. Omen of peace. Okay. Uh. Sure. We can't do that. That's not how this works, right? Do we get a pop-up? Wait. 
Okay, this just this just does this. Okay. I for a second I was like, wait, we can't do that that's not how it wor this works. <coughs> Come on, there we go. Like I said, we can't take that, but we can humiliate them. We can take their money, which is not a lot. Do we even want war operations? I don't think I actually want war operations and this one. I think I'm gonna be alright with just uh, humiliate. They're gonna move now. But we should now have the dominant position. So. How much money am I gonna lose with this? I mean, we're gonna have to just accept it. In the end. I also can't really stop paying this army because uh, of obvious reasons. We don't. I don't think we are strong enough at the moment to actually uh, lift that. I mean, if they they, they will probably will co be coming back anyway. The road warriors. Uh, this comes around in a year. I just wanted that. I think this was the right decision to get this humiliate. The faster we get to this, the better. I mean, the other all, all of the other stuff we can't really do. <coughs> Perched intruders. Do we have? Uh, Oh, this is when we conquer that and then just purge it. Uh, otherwise, we don't really have anything to do at the moment. Let's see about taking the tech. Morale damage. Jesus Christ, you guys are military focused. You also get development cost reduction. Okay. I'm all for that. I guess slightly go down because of this. <coughs> okay. I mean, punching up the capital will not do much for us. We need a trophy pile for this to be actually valuable. Yeah, definitely it is also... We're here to plunder, not build. It's basically uh, gonna be our outlet from this point on. I mean, this stuff does a little bit of money. So there's that. Okay. Yeah, we don't have anything available here. We basically just can wait for this. Next. This is gonna cause a little bit of rebellion, which means we need to go we're gonna have to stab a, fi a few things. Chain quagoffs. Oh, right, if we are if we are with that. I mean we do have this, which is just I think basic orc stuff. There's nothing special here. But we do have a special group here, I assume. Or do we? No, there's also just trolls here. Okay. Uh, we need to improve stuff one or two times. Uh, we're gonna just pu punch these guys down, I assume. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, that's gonna make my life easier. Uh, we need to improve these provinces. 25 and 26 one time. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna turn this one on, I think. Do I? A little bit expensive for a year. Nah, I'm gonna be alright with that. We're gonna do a uh, Diplo. For more money. Chieftain Sword. The orcs are not greedy in the same way as dwarves or goblins are. We still respect a good horde. The value itself is irre irrelevant, of course. What matters is the show of strength involved cl in claiming such a price. For a leader especially, a large horde is more than an accumulated, uh, accumulation of things. It is a symbol of authority and strength, which in turn comes with respect and subservience from other orcs. Yet all the strange strength and authority in the world is useless if one does not use it. Our chief understands this well. With the right focus, we can only increase his hold over Skewered Drake, but the territories are running us as well. We get Settle Chance, Global Settle Increase and Colony Cost Modifier. Lovely! <coughs> We immediately also get riding the roads. Through, though our dragons are fierce beasts in battle, just as valuable as their speed and maneuverability. At the same time, the old roads of the Devourer often offer promises of loot and conquest should we decide to follow them. Using our dragon riders, we can effectively explore large lengths of road until we discover something of value attached to them. We lose 50 admin, but we will gain army tradition and discover a lot of things. Alright. <coughs> there you guys are. So these guys want me to get Hulia cut. These guys want me to get uh, uh, head of a, and we need to get rid of Shadow Dreamers, which gives us uh, is now a formist. 
All right. Fantastic. We do need to uh, spread out for this, of course. But, yeah. I think this is the right direction. And we are actually gaining money. Lovely. I think I'm gonna do a slight reduction. So, because I... You, you know me. I hate... No, no, it, this doesn't do enough. Right, we are in the Dvaroa. We have the Dvaroa modifier. This doesn't do enough at all. <coughs> so. Of course we are gonna wait until the Mages are happy again. We're not gonna do anything if they're not happy. Uh, sp you guys are lovely. <laughs> so you guys are getting your stuff back. We pay loan, lovely. That's a bit of money. We do have two more loans. Okay. I mean, I would like to get another bit of infantry. But so be it. You still have the same guy. Ogreborn. 530. Is that good? I guess. Somewhat. Mages run Amok. Okay. Uh, this truce is over 56. Oh yeah, we have six more years. Until we actually have to do something. Serpent Bloom. Alright. <coughs> we don't have the best resources, really. But I feel like our army already does... Like, just this shock bonus alone should do so much. That's like... Yeah, that, ne that nearly doubles the shock of these guys. I assume these guys are still rivals, right? Yeah. Good. Uh, military... There's no reason, yeah, we don't have any reductions. You can just click that. And we do want to have that military advantage after all. We're not focusing on anything special. And we're also gaining this one, this stuff back slowly. Uh, this is gonna be over in a year. I assume we get, okay, we get this back fast enough. I mean, I would like to do a Dokkan, uh, 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 Dokkan's guidance, I have to admit. I'm actually curious about, uh, curious about the slave herd. As well. I don't think... I mean, I don't... Wait. Do we not need, like, a uh, uh, slave province for this? I'm actually not sure. Yeah, you guys are next to me. Could do monsters conquest. I'm not gonna touch them. <coughs> of course. Alright. But yeah, I mean, we are in the Dvara. It's obvious that we're gonna have a little bit of a slower start. Hello. <laughs> Like, there's no hesitation in this. <laughs> God damn it. Was this necessary? They might die from some colonists. Yep, they immediately died. Good. Well advised. Lovely. We do immediately loot these guys. And then I know my accent makes it sound like I'm talking about a different loot. <laughs> but we, uh, as soon as we conquer their province, we immediately draw pawn of them. <laughs> no hesitation there whatsoever. It's it's the orcish way. What are we gonna do? <laughs> it's tradition. <laughs> All right, we need to get the omen back, I assume. Yeah, let's get the omen back. Uh, omen of strength. Alright, I mean, I guess, uh, could have had use of that before we attacked. I mean, the reduction efficiency is not gonna break us. It's not nice either, but... I do see astounding amount. We do have the company of Grudge Barrels over here. I mean, the dwarves probably will cost trouble. I would love to, to connect with you guys to do something, but... Wait, did they change the flag of Askasur? Did it? I think. 8 HD brain, sorry. God dang it. Uh, let's just do it this way. <coughs> you are my fire. I mean, they're gonna come back. They always come back. There we go. We need to get rid of Shadow Dreamer. Let's take their money. They don't have much of it. So, we don't have a special purge warband decision, right? No. 
But we have this one now. And I guess we'll call that. Dracula Orc. Okay, this is... Oh, we actually have special Orc uh, culture. I see. We don't get any bonuses for having both sides? No. Sadly enough, not. There we go. We got that free Diplo. That might even give us enough to do this right away. Not quite. <coughs> this just gives us points. Gives us Reformist. And is another reason why we want to keep this guy around. Getting Reformist would be quite nice. There's a handful of stuff here. In the tribes. Learning by doing. Tribal simulation. I think we're gonna go for the global settler in Greece. We're, we're so far away from everybody. I think it just makes sense to get uh, to push this as much as possible. Look at how much we need to get to Sektia. So, yeah. Even though we first want to go to he uh, to Herdva, of course. Alright, we're also gonna eventually get our army up there. <coughs> Mythic Recovery. I mean, I like that name. I assume that we're gonna improve them anyway. At some point. Oh, we eclipsed Road Warrior? I mean, we did get the humiliation off, so... Okay, forget it, it just came back. <laughs> I cannot pick them. There we go. Well, the next thing we're gonna do with them is Conquest anyway. Because they are in our way. I assume that you're gonna number up back to a decent, uh, a healthy amount. Or something. I guess we need to get to this as soon as possible. That's 50 years. I mean, it's gonna cost me a lot of money to have two uh, around. I assume we're gonna finish that colony before this one comes around. Uh, so we no longer need to have that, to uh, that omen active. I mean, the omens are nice, but they also give penalties. I would like to get Dokkan's piece or something first. We, of course, cannot death uh, Renaissance as well. Uh, let's get rid of this. <coughs> we, of course, are going to continue with pushing, with pushing this as well. More crown land means uh, uh, more everything. There we go. Out of the wounds. For many centuries we have lived in the ruins of Gorvas and Block. The awakening of the great purple dragon, only known as the Hunter of the Deep. Ah, that is the Hunter. Okay. During the Dragon Wake almost caused the collapse of the entire hold. Even to this day, its lower levels are filled with toxic vipers excelled by the dragon during the uh, awakening and subsequent raising of the hold. After our ancestors settled in the ruins, we learned to live uh, with and eventually tamed the dragons of the area. An alliance that proved advant advantages to both sides. With the number of orcs and dragons within the hold growing beyond what, they all, what the hold and surrounding tunnels can support, the time has come to expand beyond the borders of our traditional lands. We should assemble the shamans to ask for the blessing of Dokkan for this endeavor before we finalize our plan. An orc and his dragon. This is gonna be like full... Is this gonna be full with uh, uh, how to tame your dragon memes? Maybe. Unlike the war beasts and used by other tribes, our dragons are more than mere beasts to be driven into our enemies uh, enemies headless of, headless of casualties. They are allies and partners, fighting together as a unit to protect our home. Over the centuries, a symbiosis has developed, with the orcs providing food and protection for eggs and hatchlings, while the dragons serve as war mounts, their natural strength and elemental breath, making them unparalleled shock troops and line breakers. While personal strength and prowess still matters, the bond with the dragons, dragon as well as its strength and power is as important for the standing of a warrior within the tribe. While our current chieftain Gajak is far from the physically most intimidating warrior, his mount, a red-scaled beast with devouring temper named Vrak, is the strongest mount seen in hi recent history. Vrak's power, combined with Gajak's talents as a war leader, have made his rise to, to chieftain all but inevitable. That's really cool. Oh! And he immediately gets an average monarch lifespan boost. Fantastic! We have just a cool guy in charge. I like this guy more and more. I also like immediately the narrative that he is like, he's not the most intimidating orc, but he he is good at what he what is important for the clan. I love that. That is that is immediately, uh, immediately a big fan of this. And we're going to immediately push for the next province, of course. We have not much time uh, hesitating. End of Dreamers. 
When we cast out Sock Shadow Dreamer and his ilk for their heretical beliefs, it was expected that this sorry band of outcasts would not last long. Surely they would end up torn apart by one of the many horrors, stalking the tunnels and caves, or be dispatched by one of the other tribes. Ever like the cave roaches they are, they manage to survive and multiply. Sock has sent out shamans to spread his cult to the surrounding tribes, and as a st steady trickle of converts is swelling the ranks of their war band. We need to smother the risk that Sock and his sellers pose in the cradle, and his sellers pose uh, in the cradle. Only then will our dominance over the orcs of the Middle Dwarf be fully secured. So yeah, basically, uh, this guy also has a narrative stuck to uh, to Skewer Drake, which makes sense. They both Drake Law Drake Law orcs. <coughs> But it's nice that to have this this more connected narrative overall. We have not like we do not negate an uprising now, do we? I don't think so. We should get another boost here because of uh, yeah the state of Twilight. Let's do my stop such as Vivens or Grivens. Let's go based on development of provinces with accepted cultures. Okay, so we don't need so we need to accept all the cultures or just put our culture everywhere. Okay, so you're still not gonna go high. No, wait, actually, you're gonna go up there. Well, then we're actually gonna wait until this is all the way up there. <coughs> but I think we are actually gonna end this episode here. So, like always, like subscribe, shenanigans. I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!